I'm Micah Killian, and I'm currently a PhD student and assistant instructor at the University of Texas Austin, getting my degree in music and human learning. There are millions of kids across the world who rely on the streets to live. I've had the wonderful experience of working with disenfranchised communities and refugee camps. I wanted to find a way to continue that work. Being able to reach out to a community is important to me, and I think it's important work to be done. As soon as I was awarded funds from the Rainwater Grant, I contacted Olivia, sent her an email and said, hey, I've got funding. I think I've got backing from a local music store. I'm ready to bring instruments and music education. Do you have access to some students that I can work with? And she immediately got back to me and said, yes, I totally do, please come. The children that she was working with and the organization that she was volunteering for uh, is called Voice of Children in Nepal. Voice of Children is an organization operating out of Kathmandu, Nepal. It's almost 100% locally run. It was founded by a Nepali man in order to protect street children's rights. The boys are housed and given room and board, as well as um, non-formal education and access to programs such as music class in order to help them psychologically and socially readapt to eventually be reintegrated into their homes. Voice of Children looks to connect the kids from the street into a, a, a meaningful relationship either with their family or with the, the world at large. Olivia had been coming to the centers a couple of days a week to volunteer to sing with them. They kind of use it as a method to cope with the realities of living on the street um, before even entering into VOC. Um, and that really inspired me, of course, to work harder with the music class, hearing this and realizing, wow, this is really important for these kids. This is a way for them to reconnect with their heritage, to reconnect with their families. I think it's really important for people to be able to express themselves via the music that they enjoy, via the music of their culture, of their heritage, of their own personal taste. So Olivia had gotten them started singing, playing drums, engaging with music in a really healthy, happy way. Uh, but what I was able to add to that equation was instruments. I think at first my arrival was a little shocking. I'm, uh, I'm uh, a lot bigger than they are. I'm uh, obviously foreign and I don't speak their language and I think they were very polite to me the first day or two because I think they were a little bit, uh, they were shy. By the end of day two, we were fine. They wanted to play games with me. They wanted they wanted to show me their their things, the things they could do. <laughs> they were much more receptive and much more open to me being there in their lives than I anticipated. Micah had a really well thought out plan. He had done a ton of research and a ton of reading on working with children in other cultures, which was really helpful. And he did a lot of amazing work with nonverbal communication with the boys. These are kids that don't have access to music teaching. They don't have access to musical instruments. And so I wanted to be able to just give them those things. For a couple of weeks, for an intervention, I wanted to be able to um, present them with the tools that they needed to carry on some sort of creative study with the instruments. They loved him, you know, they really did not want him to leave. They were really interested in what he was teaching them. He did an amazing job of relating to them and creating a curriculum that reached them in the short amount of time.
it's cliched for any teacher to say that they learned more from their students than their students learned from them, but it's also true. The boys are amazing. They, watching them engage with each other, watching them engage uh, with me, with their social workers, with the instruments, with music in general, showed me things that I had never seen before. The boys would have never had the chance to have this kind of program if he had not come. He really exposed um, my students to another world and he did it in a way that was very safe for them. They clearly really enjoyed it and they were inspired to work more on the trumpet. I mean, some of the kids after you know, after the class ended, would still be doing the trumpet for another hour, and a lot of the kids showed up for four of his classes a day. Just extremely grateful that Micah took the time and came over to have this incredible experience with me and to create this program for these children because they deserved every second of it, and he did an amazing job every second of it.